million of these guys hanging around with nothing to do. You've painted them, you've carved them, but have you used it to make a volcano? No, you haven't. I think we should try that. Come on, let's go. Are you ready? Yeah. Hello, hello. Today we will be making a pumpkin volcano. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're gonna be making today. We both are under the weather and that's okay. So we need to do something with our hands that's not so busy today. So what we need to do first with the help of your parents is to cut the top of your pumpkin so that we can get to the good stuff. Yeah, and we need to carve all that yummy gook. Don't throw away, we will do something else with it. So you need to get in there with your spoon and carve out all those seeds. Like I did. Yeah, like you did. So she did most of it, but there are a few spots that we need to get out still. So just carve out all of those pumpkin guts and seeds. How do you, what do you think about that Tinkerbell? He, he likes the guts. <laughs> Oh, how are you, Tinkerbell? Okay, now that we have all of our guts pretty much scooped out, you're just gonna move your seeds to a area, an area that you can maybe use for later for something else. So now that we have it all carved out, we're gonna start putting things in it. So we're first, we're gonna put in our water. So McKenna, if you can help with water. We're gonna pour it up until it's about three fourths of the way full. Not quite, I would do a little less. So we put some water in there. I'm gonna stop right there. So we have our water. Can you see? And it's warm water. It's not cold or room temperature. It's a little warm. So now that we have our water, let's put in four drops of dish soap. So if you can count with me, Kenna. One, two, three, and four. Good job. Four drops. And now we're going to put in our Bacon soda. I'm just going to use the same spoon I used to carve. <coughs> Bacon soda! And put, I am think I'm going to put two since we have a teeny little, we have a teeny little uh, pumpkin here. I think I'm just going to do two. Can I? Two tablespoons. <laughs> pour, pour, pour. All of it. Mm-hmm. All right, now what color do you want in the in your pumpkin? What color? Pink. Pink. So we only have red, yellow, green, and blue. If I'm not mistaken. Red is a, these are primary colors. So we're just gonna have to use a, maybe two, maybe one drop Can to I get pink? pink. Yes, help me. One drop. Boop. No mixing. Nope, no mixing. So now that it's all in there, we can just shake it a little bit. It's <laughs> yeah, it's turning pinkish. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna grab a bowl to put this in so we don't have such a big mess. Got it. So it has some sides. All right, so now that it's in there, the next ingredient we have to pour in is vinegar. I think we need a measuring like cup. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, how's it go? Oh yeah. Fish and chips and vinegar, vinegar, vinegar. Fish and chips and vinegar, vinegar and chips. Oh, we should sing the whole thing for them. Shouldn't we? Let's do it. One bottle cup, two bottle cup, three bottle cup, four bottle cup. 
you to tag me and those pumpkin volcano uh, pictures. Also, I want to send a shout out to Little Ben's Little Hands and that's where I got this idea and recipe from. So definitely shout out to them as well. I hope you continue to make some fun stuff. And also tell me what you do with your seeds. I'm still trying to think about what I want to do with those. See you next time. Bye!